Hey folks, hey what's going on? Hey, this is Wes Virgin here, and I know you haven't seen me on, a while on camera here, but I want to record a video first to say how grateful I am to you. You know, I got a lot of new people, over about 10,000 people that's following me right now, 5,000 friends, and what I want to do, I want to give you value, okay? And I was laying in my bed, you know, uh, we're having some, some, some great things that are happening right now in the business, and I wanted to basically take a second out of my day to show you what's happening and give you some tips as well. We're going to talk about goal setting here today. But most of all, I want to say thank you for all the new superstars that are in the group, all the folks that have purchased the Fat Diminisher program. That's my newest program out there. And I just want to say I'm grateful, okay? But let's get to business, okay? What I want to do, what I want to talk about real quickly here is just the guys, let me get, let me give you some background about me, okay? Not only am I a trainer, you know, I help people design and sculpt amazing bodies, but I, I want to help people from a business standpoint as well, right? Entrepreneurship as well. Now, I don't help in the relationship area because Wesley Virgin have not got that down yet, so I'm not going to speak on that. But in certain areas that I've affected, and what I thought about is this. I said, you know what? Why don't I? Now, this was years ago, right? I said, what I would like to do for the rest of my life, right, is serve people. I'm an engineer, I've been in the military, I did all those things, but the problem was I wasn't fulfilled, right? Made some good money there, but I said, you know what, let me give back to people, because I know people want money, and I know people want that great body, right? So let me bust my head, let me work, and let me figure out what you want, right? One, I know you want a better body, right? I know you want to be healthy, I know you want to run down the beach butt naked in Jamaica, right? Absolutely. And I also know that you want money, right? And you want to find a way how to make money that's supplemental to your income today. All right? But let's talk about this. Goal setting. Okay? Goal setting is very important because a lot of folks out there, when you set goals, if I ask you right now, I want you to look at me right in the eye. Okay? Look at me. Do you want to be a millionaire? You're like, yes. Yes, I want to be a millionaire. Yeah. I was like that too. Yes, I want to be a millionaire. But the problem was this, okay? And I learned this from a good friend. Um, I say friend, like I talk to him every day, but uh, he was an unofficial mentor. His name is Holton Bucks. He says, well, the problem is if, you're, if you can't picture your success, okay? Listen to that. If you can't picture yourself in a better body, if you can't picture millions of dollars in your bank account, right? If you can't see that, then it never happens. See, most people, they want a million dollars, or they want a better body, or they want to lose 10 pounds, right? But wanting is not enough, okay? And I learned some additional by my other good friend, Tony Robbins. And this is what he says, okay? He says, do this, okay? Instead of setting these huge goals, right? Because you ever been to a seminar and they say, hey, you're going to take vacation every day, you're going to quit your job. You know, you don't have to work anymore. You're going to take vacations every single day. Life is going to be amazing. You can spend time with your family every single day, right? Every one of us has been to one of those seminars, okay? But the problem is we can't visually see that. See, what we see is on Monday morning getting up at 8 o'clock going and fighting traffic, right? This is what we see. Right? Because we have did this so many times, we have gotten in the habit, and this is what we expect, right? Go to work, right? Go to lunch, get off work, cook some dinner, watch some TV, go to bed, okay? But what I want to show you, this is a method I've been using. I've used this with my program here, uh, my last program just launched, and it's called chunking, okay? And it is power in chunking things, folks. And I want to show you some of my results, because what I want to do, I want you to see, see, the thing is, I think of my Facebook page as a video journal, okay? My kids, my two children, one day, right, when they're 16, 18 years old, they're going to look through dad's Facebook page and they're going to see exactly what I did to be so successful, right? I don't have to write a book about it, right? I don't have to do a ghost writer about it. The thing is, they're going to look at my page and see all the videos that I created. They're going to see when I struggled, right? They're going to see what was hard. They're going to see when I had some successes. But they're going to see what I was doing from a habitual standpoint to get where I am today. And I want you to do the same thing, okay? Now, check this out. Now, I don't know if you can see this clearly, but this is my goals, okay? Goals for 2015 I put up here, right? And some of my goals is this because, you know, just like you, 
Yeah, I want to be a millionaire, of course. We all do, right? Well, maybe not all of us. I'm not going to get into that. But right here, my first goal here, I don't know if you can see that. It says to make $1,000 per day, all right? Um, I want a continuity with my seven-day fitness program. Basically, people that's going to pay me every month for service that I provide them. Um, I want to launch my program, The Fat Diminisher. Um, I want to recruit affiliates. Affiliates are people, and I'm going to talk more about that later as I create more videos, but affiliates are people that link up with me as partners to promote my program so I can sit on the beach with an apple martini, wheatgrass preferred, right, and relax and do nothing, okay? Um... Uh, I want my business on autopilot, on autopilot making at least $50,000 per month, okay, as well. And uh, I have another goal, $100 per day, $500 per day, $5,000 per day. And I want to get my weight to about 210 of sculpted muscle, okay, right there. You see that? That makes sense? All right, now check this out. Now, I did it like this because I had to write goals of things that I can believe right now $1,000 per day when I first wrote this well and maybe I can believe it but the thing is I just I can believe $100 per day instead of $1,000 per day now I'm talking about online okay because what I do I have a online business I'm an internet marketer okay all that means is I create products to serve people like yourself to live better lives, whether it be fitness products, uh, success products, anything, anything to magnify human life, I create online digitally, okay? So, what I did here, and what I want to do here, I want to check off some things because this worked. I chunked it down, you know, because I remember every day I was thinking I want to make $5,000 per day, I want to make $10,000 per day, but I couldn't do that when I wasn't making $50 per day. Does that make sense, right? We get into a new business, a new opportunity, you know, the people tell us that we can make $10,000 per month, right? Most of us, we get excited about it, but the problem is we can't picture ourselves making that kind of money when we're only making $2,500 per month or maybe $4,000 per month, okay? So, what I said was, okay, let's I say, I can do $100 per month, okay, I mean per day. So, bam, let's check. We have already hit, hold on one second, hold on. and we're going to check this off, okay? I'm going to teach you how to do this. Okay, $100 per day, check, done, $500 per day, check, I did that, okay, you see what I'm doing here, I'm checking out small goals, not $50,000 per day, $100 per day, okay, I want you to think about this, now I don't know if you're in the online business, you should be, okay, I'm telling you, if you're not in this game, you're missing out so much money, okay, and you don't understand that it's been a ver it's been a shift on how people make money, and most people are still doing the brick and mortar stuff, which that's okay. But the problem is that's almost like a job. So the thing is, when I left engineering, I wanted to put myself in a very unique situation where I can work my ass off for a very long time, and I can relax forever because I have a online driven autopilot business bringing in the money. That makes sense. Internet never cuts off. It's on twenty four hours a day. People come to your website, they like what, you, that you, what you're offering, they buy it, you make money while you sleep, okay? That's what I was interested in. I don't want to work a job, and I don't want to work a business where I feel like I'm going to work. Does that make sense? Great. Okay, we're on the same page here. I think you want the same thing, okay? So, bam, $1,000 per day. Guess what, guys? We just hit that goal as well. $1,000. Actually, we hit $2,000 per day right now, okay? So, this is what's happening right now in my business. Another thing, um, Fat Diminisher. I launched the Fat Diminisher. That's my new product. Recruit 100 affiliates. I've now recruited 100 affiliates, but I'm on 7-0. I recruited 70 affiliates so far. So what am I showing you there? What I'm saying is this. When I started to chunk my big goals into little goals, it made it easier for me to accomplish. Because, see, the thing is, once I, when I hit, I, I remember... When I first made 100 bucks a day on the internet, right? When I woke up, my eyes opened in the morning, I made 100 bucks. Man, I was like, yes! Wow! I checked it up. I said, I did that. Great. Right? That's different of saying I want to go in business and say, you know what, this month, 
I'm going to make $5,000. I'm going to make $50,000, right? No, little goals, okay? So the point is, what I want to give you is, I want you to start chunking down your goals, okay? I don't know if you want to start a new t-shirt business, a uh, new internet business. I highly suggest that. I can teach you that as well, right? But the thing is, I would like you to chunk the goals down. Maybe you want to get a degree. Maybe you want to get a master's degree. Or maybe you want to get further education. You want to join the middle. I don't know. But learn to chunk the goals down, okay? When you chunk it, it is something that you believe in, something that you can picture. That makes sense? Period. It's all about picturing it. But you have to picture of something that you believe that you can achieve. A lot of you out there, yeah, you want to make millions of dollars, but you don't even make $100,000 a year yet. Okay? You don't even make $100,000 a year yet. Some of you guys out there want to make $5,000 a month. You're not making $2,000 a month. Okay? When you break away from the 9 to 5, it's a new game. Okay? And the only way that you're going to figure that out, you have to get in the game, okay? The 9 to 5 game, that is already planned out for you, right? The boss tell you when to come to work. he tell you when to go to lunch. he tell you when the TPS reports needs to be in, right? he tell you when you can take a vacation. he lets you know when you're, um, how, how your benefit package works. It's all created for you because one thing the world, right, doesn't want us to do, the world doesn't want us to take responsibility. Okay, because if we take responsibility, think about it for a second, okay? This is why they have the financial aid. I'm not speaking against it, but I'm, I'm telling you what the world doesn't want us to do, especially in America, okay? It doesn't want us to take responsibility of our action. We have financial aid. Uh, we have government assistance. We have Section 8 housing. We have food stamps. We have all these things. They're created for us so we don't have to take responsibility, okay? But once you say, you know what? I'm fed up. I am tired. Everybody goes to that. Right? I've been there. I don't know if you've hit it yet, but I was sick and tired of the nine to five. I just didn't want to go to work anymore. Matter of fact, I had one position. I just stopped going to the office, okay? And I started working from home. I didn't tell my manager. I didn't tell my boss. I just left. I started working remotely because I would go to work. It didn't make any sense when I was working behind a computer when I can connect from my computer here in my office to the office at work, okay? I did it. I'm not suggesting you, but I, I just hit that threshold, okay? I worked there for a year before, guess what? I got laid off, okay? But check this out. When you leave the nine to five game, okay? It is a new game to be played. You have to take total responsibility, period, okay? You have to take total responsibility. It's so easy for us to blame the coworkers, blame my family, blame my friends, Blame Pookie, blame Ray Ray, blame my kids, whatever. It's, we're always playing this blaming game, okay? I, I see it all the time when I'm training people, okay? I'm training someone, and they're telling me why they can't do something. You know, maybe because the doctor told them this, or maybe because they can't get there on time. But see, think about it. That's nothing but a story that is keeping you from your goal, okay? That's a whole nother video, folks. But I'm going to be recording these videos. I'm back in action here. Um, I'm not going to be in Houston long, but I will be creating these videos even from Florida uh, when I make my exodus. But remember, today's lesson was... Best exercises to lose arm fat at home. Arm fat is caused by the accumulation of excess fat in the area of the arms, and it represents an unpleasant issue, especially for women. Moreover, even though sometimes fat can be easily burnt with regular exercise and a healthy diet, the fat on the arms is incredibly stubborn, and its removal is extremely difficult. Flabby arms are often a result of aging, as, after the second decade of life, the body stored fat on certain body parts, and the lean muscle mass is gradually reduced. Actually, fatty tissues overweight lean muscles, and arm fat is a common aesthetic issue. 
issue. This problem may also result from poor metabolism as it is slowed down with age, and the system burns fewer calories. The increased accumulation of fat in the body is caused by lack of exercise and physical inactivity as well. Hence, if you are one of the millions with flabby arms and simply hate their appearance, you will be happy after reading this article as we will suggest several simple, but extremely effective exercises that will help you burn the fat on the arms, and eventually get the tone arms you dreamed about your entire life.